Welcome back, dear viewers, to another episode of Positive Living. I was watching a rather interesting TEDx talk the other day, and I thought I'd share with you the main points. Now, the speaker is an avid traveler. He's a big fan of adventures and nature. And he was arguing that over the years, as human beings, we have lost connection with our true essence. The reason for this, according to him, is that over the years as we've put down concrete, as we've started to connect in the most disconnected of ways, we have lost that connection with nature. And as human beings, as living, breathing organisms, we need to be connected to that source of life. Of course, with nature, with the sun. We need to step away and step back from our phones, from being indoors all the time. And with that, we can reconnect to our true selves. Do you know that forgiveness is the hardest thing that someone can do? I get asked all the time, why should I forgive? How can I forgive? Do you really benefit from forgiving? And the most important thing is, is that forgiveness, most of the time people think it's about the other person. It's not really about the other person, it's about you. When someone hurt us or when we have resentment or when we have um, anger, emotions, negative emotions towards someone, we oftentimes feel like we're not going to give them the benefit of the doubt that we let those feelings go. But the reality of it is that you keeping on these negative feelings, you holding on this negative grudges inside of you, it really affects you and it doesn't affect anyone else. So when I have people saying to me, well, why should I forgive? What benefit do I get out of forgiving? There are lots of more benefits in forgiving. Now to understand forgiveness, it's a mindset, right? You have to be able to be ready to tell yourself that I will not live in this negativity. I will not hold grudges because holding grudges is by itself, it means you're holding negative energy inside of your body. So the other person that we're angry at probably have pursued their life and they are doing whatever they are doing. They're not really worried about what you are feeling. And here we are, we're spending a lot more time of our time and of our energy that we could use to benefit us. We are using it to benefit them because we think we should not be letting them go. So the idea is, what do I do when I have forgiveness? Do I forgive? Should I stay the way you are? Again, it's a mindset. People need to decide that this is not the best thing for me. Psychologically speaking, most of the time people really, really have a hard time with forgiveness because it's a process that no one really understands. And I don't understand it. A lot of people don't really understand it. What do you do? It's not a pill that you can take that makes you forgive. It's the ability to be able to recognize that this person was not good for me and therefore I need to move on. People that are not forgiving, they're living in the past and they're not living in the present. So the idea is, is that what you want to think about is that when you decide I want to forgive, that is when you decide to love yourself. Loving myself requires me to let go of the past feelings, letting go of people that have hurt me, letting go of all the experiences that I have had that have caused me to really stay the way I am. I know lots of people that have wanted to have dreams and they have goals and they want to really succeed in life and they can't. Do you know why? Because they have spent a lot of their time trying to waste a lot of their energy on people that they don't like. Every time they bring up the memories. I mean, I even have people that talk about people that have hurt them and that have angered them and that has done like in the past maybe six or seven months maybe even ten years i know people that don't even speak to certain family members for example because they are have hurt them and it's been 10 years or 20 years and they still talking about it like it happened so if you think about it who is it really benefiting is it benefiting you is it benefiting the other person now i want to talk about some of the benefits 
Now, when people say to me, what exactly do I need to do to forgive? There is not a real tool to say, well, I'm just going to forgive. Again, as I said, it's a mindset. Once you've decided, you have to put yourself in that situation. We need to talk about the benefit of you forgiving, not really the benefit of what. But after this uh, break, I will come back to let you know about the benefits. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned. Welcome back. I, before the break, I talked about benefits. So forgiveness has a lot of benefits. And as I said before, it has a lot more benefit for you. So you're not doing the other person a favor. And remember, when I say forgive, does not mean that you're really wanting to forgive that person. That person doesn't have to be face to face. They could even be people that have hurt you and they've passed away and they've died. And they're not even here. I think what we need to do is teach forgiveness from the beginning. I've, you know, a lot of times parents don't teach forgiveness for their kids. They teach them that, you know, if this person is not nice to you, you don't need to be nice to them. You know, if they hurt you, don't talk to them. I think these messages we really have to change because as an adult, when we get older, we also need forgiveness. And if we teach our kids to be forgiving and to forget, we also need to teach ourselves the same way. So when we do it, one of the benefit is that when you do it, your kids learn from you and you could be a better example. It really improves the relationship. Most of the time, statistics says people that are happy are also very forgiving people. So if you want to have better relationships, you have to, you know, if you want to be a better parent, uh, better husband, better wife, this are the best way you could do is to move on and try to show an example that you can forgive. Now, the other benefit statistics says health-wise. Most of the people that have high blood pressure, have heart problems, um, they have anxiety and depression, oftentimes are people that actually have uh, high stress because they're holding on to a lot of anger that they have toward other people. They walk around being victimized and they think that people are there to get them, that they're there to hurt them. Now, those individuals will always have, they will never be happy, they don't live long, and their physical health deteriorates faster. So if you want to have better health, you also have to be able to have that mechanism of telling yourself, I am not gonna hold grudges, I don't wanna hold grudges. The, the third one, it's, you know, and I, the idea is that people, remember I said earlier, this energy that you're holding on to be able to be, um, to be angry, you are wasting it. If you could just use that energy in a more positive way, like, deal with your goals, have short-term goals, long-term goals, succeed in whatever it is that you want, you would probably have better chance. If you look at most of the people that are very successful, usually they don't have any grudges against people. They are forgiving and they forgot and they've moved on. The other thing you have to understand that it's, it's, it's you will have better self-esteem. So if I am holding grudges, I'm not gonna love myself because I'm walking around trying to feel sorry for myself that everyone hurts me. I won't be able to trust people, that's another thing. People that don't forgive and forget, they don't trust people. Remember, you are only doing this for yourself. If I have a better self-esteem, I have a better career. I have more successes with other people. You also have to be able to teach this forgiveness with other people. If you're holding on to this and you're around people that are negative, then the people that we can, you know, we surround ourselves with, they have to be like us. So if you've decided to be forgiving and you have to be forgiveness, has to also come from other people that are around you. The other thing I think people don't really uh, talk a lot about is faith. You will increase your faith. You can't be faithful and have faith if you are continuing to be angry. You cannot go and increase your faith if you are holding grudges that are 10 years and 15 years and say that this is the way it is. Remember, forgiveness is all about you and not anyone else. You're forgiving yourself and letting yourself go. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was great being here with you and I hope this was very successful and a learning process. Thank you.